In this video, I'm going to talk about how to lubricate and grease your 3D printer. You may be asking, why do I need to perform this type of maintenance in the first place? The answer is simple. A 3D printer is a machine with moving parts and therefore it must be properly lubricated to prevent excessive friction and unwanted wear and ensure a long life from your machine. If you start to notice black residue or rubbing noise from your printer, it's time for some maintenance. I am now going to walk you through the steps to properly lubricate your machine. First, move the build plate out of the way. I use two different lubricants for my printer. The first is a dry bike lube made by Finish Line. I also use Super Lube Grease for the threaded rod. Check out the description below for more information about these products. You will need a dry cloth or paper towel for removing any residue that has built up over time. Move the printer nozzle to one of the corners of the printer. Using your cloth, thoroughly wipe down the cross rods and make sure to clean the entire surface really well. You will need to slide the nozzle around to multiple positions to access the entire rod. Repeat the same process for the other cross rods. The same cleaning process also applies to all of the perimeter rods. It is important to clean up any gunk that is built up near the housing of the sliders. You can expect to see black residue on your cloth from old lubricant you have removed. I don't want to bore you so let me speed up the video for cleaning the remainder of the perimeter rods. Okay great, so now it's time to apply the dry lubricant. Apply some onto a clean cloth and gently rub it onto the rods that you just cleaned. It is important to cover the entire surface of the rods, so you may need to reapply more lubrication onto your cloth. I will once again speed up the video for lubricating the remainder of the rods. Make sure you don't forget to lubricate the vertical Z-axis rods as well. I recommend using Q-tips for applying the super lube grease to the threaded rod. Unscrew the cap and apply a generous amount of grease to the Q-tip. Next, rub the grease into the vertical threaded Z-axis rod of your printer. Make sure to apply everywhere and get into all of the grooves. You may also want to apply some grease around the bearing slider housing. Congratulations, you have officially lubricated and greased your 3D printer. I recommend doing this every few months. If you haven't done so already, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more 3D printing videos. If you have any feedback or questions, please leave those in the comment section below and have a great day.